Hi, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to show you the top toolbar in the Ed Online Designer. First, let's start on the top left with the Save button. Make sure to save your page always and often as there is no autosave feature in the designer. If you do happen to lose your work or close your browser unexpectedly, you can recover your work from the Recover Pages button seen here. Next to the Save button, there is a green button for Save as Template. This allows you to save your spread or single pages as a template for use again in your book. Once you save your template, you can access it from the Custom Templates tab inside the Templates button in the Designer. Next to that is the Copy and Paste Frames button, the Undo and Redo button, the Paint Bucket tool and the Border tool. This allows you to fill a shape, text box, or clip art on your page using the Paint Bucket tool. Or you can use the Border tool seen here to put a border around photos, text, clip art, or shapes. You can use the number seen here to make the border bigger or smaller. Next to that is the trash can tool, or you could always just use the delete key on your keyboard, the lock frames tool, which stops you from moving or selecting an item, the align and distribute tool, which allows you to line up elements on the page. For example, if I click this box here, hold down shift on my keyboard, and select these other two items here. They'll be grouped together and that will allow me to align them either on their top, left, right, or bottom edge. So if I go to align, align top, now my frames are all at the same height and distribute allows you to distribute the space evenly between them. Next to that we have the spell check tool. Make sure to use this to spell check your whole book often. Then under the View tab, we have a few tools to help you design. The ruler, we'll put a ruler on the top and left side of your page. The snap to will allow you to manually line up items on the page. You'll see a green line appears and it will stop you when you're moving your box around to line up items. The grid will put a grid over your spreads to help you design better. And you can also change the size of the grid. The help layer will put a center line through your pages. The page tab allows you to mirror left or mirror right the content on your page. So this will essentially flip the content left or right on a horizontal axis. And you can also clear the left page or clear the right page if you wanted to start over. The frame tab allows you to change frames that you have selected. For example, this photo here, if I go up to frame, I can add a drop shadow. I can add a drop shadow on text, clip art, photos, and shapes. Rounded corners allows you to round the corners of any photo frame. And then we have the wrap text feature, which will allow you to wrap text around a frame. So for example, if I click this circle down here, and go up to frame wrap text. You'll see now my paragraph is wrapped around this circle frame and that's just an added design element that you can do to make your pages look a little cooler. Limit move region will make it so that you cannot move any text or images outside of the suggested safety margin. So you'll see this actually stops me from moving my picture any further. Transform allows you to flip your photo horizontally or vertically. You can change the fit of the photo. So if I change this to proportional outside, it's going to change the way the photo is cropped. I can also go to transform and change the opacity of any item. So if I click on my clip art there, go up to frame, transform, opacity, I can change this to 50% opacity and you'll see now it's somewhat see-through. You can do that for shapes, clip art, backgrounds, photos. I can also go to frame and go to transform, assign shape, and I can actually change the shape of my frame selected. The people tab, this goes into the people page software, which allows you to auto flow your portraits using the PSPA index file and portraits supplied by your professional photographer. Check out the webinar on how to do your people pages to learn more about the people tab. 
The settings tab here allows you to use the book builder to place whole book templates into your project as well as clone your previous year's yearbook. There's also some additional settings in here as well and you can also delete page locks from this location if somebody forgot to close out of their window. The help tab here will bring you to the help site and the help videos like this one that you're watching right now. So make sure to go to the help site and check out the other videos we offer. Thanks for watching.